let's exit out of our add modify windows form and go into our company data access component and we're going to create our table schema so private static void called define company table schema and it's going to have a data table as a parameter so data column company ID column equals table dot columns dot add company ID type of string company ID column dot allow db null because it's the primary key equals false and then we'll set is the primary key table dot primary key equals new data column and I call it company ID column so do this for each one of the columns on your on the company table company name equal table dot columns dot add company name type of string company name we're going to give this a max length equals 150 so I created the other columns, the company email and the company size, very similar to the to the previous ones. Now let's create our, our data set. It's going to be another function. We're going to call it private static data set create company tracker data set. Create data set company tracker data set equals new data set. Create a data table company table equals company tracker data set dot tables dot add and we'll call it company so we're going to call our define company table schema which we just created and we're going to pass it the company table and we're going to return the data set And now we're going to create a get data function that is going to be called from our lesson three form uh, to populate our grid view. So it's going to be called, we're going to do public static. It's going to return a data set. It's going to be called get data. Create a data set and call the company tracker data set equals create the company data set function. So company tracker data set dot enforce constraints equals false and company data adapter dot fill 
doing their company data set dot tables and we're going to put the company table in there and then company data set dot enforce constraints equal true and then return the data set So let's leave our company data access component and go back to our form and right click it, view code. In the constructor, we're going to add company tracker data set equals company DAC dot get data. Then we need to bind it to our data grid view company table equals company tracker data set dot tables company and then data grid view dot data source equals the company table and run it. 